So after banning Bitcoin back in 2013, probably also around 2014, 15, multiple times in 2017, and again last month, China has announced that it has yet again banned Bitcoin in China. So here are some other things that are banned in China. The phrases I oppose and disagree are banned in China. Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Snapchat are all banned in China. Google, YouTube, and Netflix is banned in China. Having more than two children was banned in China. I think they just made a law where you could have three children. Time traveling is banned in China. And don't you even think about reading a book or watching a movie that has to do with time travel because that's also banned, mister. Justin Bieber is banned in China. Winnie the Pooh is banned in China because of memes. Look at this, Obama with, uh, with this guy, Winnie the Pooh again. Winnie the Pooh again. And there are many, many more things that are banned in China. The moral of this story is Bitcoin doesn't need China to succeed. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel, as always, is to bring you the community, the resources and knowledge to help you get to that next level. So make sure if you enjoy this video to smash that like button, guys. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I can't stop looking at these memes. This is gold. So today, China's central bank said that institutions must not provide trading, clearing and settlement for crypto transactions. This, of course, stirred up the market and uh, just brought more fear, uncertainty and doubt into the market in its current sensitive state. So we've been down, we're down about eight and a half percent or so today. And basically the entire market is following as always. This was a statement provided by the People's Bank of China. Now the weird thing here that the statement that was posted on the website citing guidance from the People's Bank of China was deleted. Boom, boom, boom. Now with miners being banned in China, they have been migrating to different places across the world including in a report to Maryland. In a report here, it says a Chinese logistics firm is airlifting three metric tons of Bitcoin mining machines to Maryland as the Chinese government cracks down on the industry. You can see here in the tweet here and on the picture of very high quality here as they're being shipped. Even with China shutting down these mining companies, even though it might have a negative effect on the market short term, this is actually bullish for Bitcoin overall. In other news, MicroStrategy purchases another $489 million of Bitcoin. The company now holds 105,085 Bitcoin. This was acquired for a total of $2.74 billion with an average price of $26,080. All right, so apart from all the FUD in the market today with uh, China, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual charts and see what has developed since Friday. So Friday, we ended up down about 6%. Saturday was a little bit more flat. We were down about 0.86%. And Sunday, yesterday, we were again pretty much flat, but ended up up just a bit. Then of course today with all this FUD, we've been down over 8% for the day currently. So we have broken for the moment this support right here. This is that Fibonacci support that's been holding us. That's between that 35 to $34,000 level. As you guys can see, it's held there. It's held multiple times over here held multiple times over here so it's definitely a, a big support that's been playing a role here and now we've currently gone down as low as 31,687 as you guys know we've hit 31,000 on two different occasions so this is actually the third time here that we're hitting that 31,000 number each time we've hit it here we've bounced up so that's currently what we're waiting for waiting to see what ends up happening the, the FUD in the market is still fresh. So 
you know, I don't expect a move today. Maybe during this week, we can develop a bounce back up and over this $35,000 range and could possibly start you know trying to revisit that 40 to 42k area now because we did break this area we do have to start looking at uh where the next support areas are so when we're looking here you can see that that next support is basically around this range where we visited last time right that's right around that thirty thousand dollar range so that's really going to be that next support and then the next support after that is going to be down here at the next Fibonacci level, which that's going to be around that $28,000 level. Now, the thing about this level here, the $28,000, that's the 61.8% Fibonacci level, which is also known as the golden level. So if you just do a quick Google search here and type golden ratio, you will see the golden ratio is 1.618. If you go to images, you will then see a bunch of these spirals, right? You can definitely dig into this rabbit hole for hours and hours and hours, but to keep it as simple as possible and for the sake of making this video, as short as possible 61.8 percent is the golden pocket or the golden ratio on a fibonacci retracement um, tool so that pretty much tells us in the event that we continue to drop and drop below thirty thousand dollars which was the previous low over here this will definitely be a big support level there that twenty eight thousand uh, dollar area is going to be a big support because it is the golden pocket, the golden ratio, and it's also where we've kind of bounced here during this time here. So it's definitely a strong support there and we have to keep an eye on it here. Now in more bullish news, you can see that on the weekly chart, we have set you know lows and then we set a high, then we set a higher low, higher high, higher, higher low currently. So we need this weekly candle to stay above this previous lower low. We don't want to set up a new lower low. So that level is $31,000 basically right on it. And we're currently the low is 31,687. So if we can keep this weekly candle from going lower than the previous low right here, that actually also helps. Uh, for the bullish sentiment here and the as far as the pattern so another interesting thing here to look at with the current pattern that bitcoin's doing here if you look at the current pattern here and then you kind of look back at previous uh drops like we've had he back here in 2019 then again back in 2018 you can see that bitcoin traded within this range and continued up uh, eventually and the same thing here you can tell that it traded within this range and moved up so we could possibly see something similar now for this to play out we do have to remain on this uh, trajectory with higher lows consistently enough and uh, and we could possibly see that same pattern play out here now of course that is the weekly time frame so that means it could take weeks to months before we see a move up um, so we would be consolidating in uh, that symmetrical triangle pattern there. So for that to work out, we would have to continue seeing higher lows though. So other than that, we do have the, uh, the death cross that happened already here. As you guys can see right here on the chart, there still is a bullish divergence here on the RSI and the price action as well. And uh, honestly, there's not much to do here. So what I'm doing personally, Personally is dollar cost averaging I've been adding uh, as close to 30,000 as possible so I've been adding at 32 I've added at 31 if we get to 30 I'll be adding there if we get down to 28 I will also be adding there so if you're looking for a short entry I would probably say uh, below 30,000 but you have to be ready to take profits quick because remember we have a the golden pocket right down here at 28,000. If you're looking for long entries, I'm not looking at any long entries currently. There could be a possibility for a uh, long entry above 
thirty-six thousand um, dollars. But as as of right this moment, we're not liking any long entries for the moment. It's just too risky right now. All right, guys. So that is pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button, guys. And drop a comment if you have any questions about anything that we covered here. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. We're posting videos five times a week. So I will see you guys on tomorrow's video. As always, peace and love.